welcome to another video in this sixth term of exponential equations of 8 raised to the power x plus 27 raised to the power x all divided by 12 raised to the power x plus 17 raised to the power x equals to 7 over 6 let's see how to solve for x and all the thanks to prime newton for formulating this problem so what you do is if i factorize out 8 raised to the power x then we have this as 1 plus 27 divided by 8 all raised to the power of x and we divide this by so at the denominator we can still take out 12 raised to the power x and bracket 1 plus 18 divided by 12 raised to the power of x equals to 7 divided by 6 And by combining these together, and I make them share the same power, and we have it like this. So bracket, and here is one plus. So uh, seven can be written as three raised to power three, which is twenty-seven divided by two raised to power three all raised to the power x and we divide this by 1 plus 18 6 can go in 8 in 3 times and uh, 6 can go in 12 in 2 times so hereby we have 3 divided by 2 all raised to the power x everything equals to 7 divided by 6 We can also reduce 8 divided by 12 to 2 over 3, all raised to the power x. And multiplying, so while for this, we can apply the law of exponents there, so which we can have it as 3 divided by 2, and we raise everything to the power of x. And all of them raised to power x and divided by 1 plus 3 divided by 2 all raised to power of x equals to 7 divided by 6 and looking at this so where we have 3 over 2 raised to power 3 all raised to power x we can just switch that to 3 over 2 raised to power x and all raised to power 3 so either of the two and what i will do here is since i have three over two common and i will let it to be an alphabet just to make the thing easy to handle so let three over two raised to power x to be equals to y that is anyway i say it i'm going to replace it with y but looking at this it is two over three raised to power x which is uh, entirely different and uh, to handle that so we just raise it to the power of minus one so it will look the same thing as what we have. So while all this becomes 1 plus y is to power 3 divided by 1 plus y equals to 7 divided by 6. And with y is to power minus 1, we can indeed rewrite it as 1 over y following the negative law of indices. Bracket 1 plus y raised to power 3 divided by 1 plus y all equals to 7 divided by 6 and if we try to open the parentheses uh, it will create a problem so what i will do is if i write this as y raised to power 3 plus 1 divided by y bracket 1 plus y equals to 7 divided by 6 so we can just cross multiply here and expand this but uh, we might not get the result quick so if i try to rewrite y raised to power 3 as 1 plus y bracket and here is y raised to power of 2 minus y plus 1 all divided by y bracket and y plus y and y plus y are the same 
so which is equals to y divided by six what i did above is i applied the identity just like a cube minus uh p cube so which is the sum of two cube so and this becomes y square minus y plus one over y equals to seven over six and if we try to cross multiply here six we multiply all this and seven we multiply y the result of this becomes 6y raised to the power of 2 minus y plus 1 equals to 7y. Let's open the bracket. We have 6y raised to the power 2 minus 6y. And if I transfer 7 here, we have minus 7y plus 6 equals to 0. So which we have the sum of these becomes 6y square minus 13y plus 6 equals to 0 and which gives the quadratic equation so by factorizing this or by factorization method so we multiply 6 by 6 that is 36 so and we have 6 6y raised to the power 2 minus 9y minus 4y plus 6 equals to 0 as minus 13 is just like sum and 6 is just like product so combination of these two uh these two and what is common in the first one is 3y by taking it out we have 2y minus 3 and by taking out 2 here with negative so we have this as 2y minus 3 equal to 0 and so this and this are common we take the coefficient together as 3y minus 2 bracket 2y minus 3 equals to 0 so which we can either let 3y minus 2 equals to 0 which is 3y equals to 2 and 2y equals to 3 so as y here equals to 2 over 3 and for the second one y equals to 3 divided by 2 so on getting these, these are not the final solution because we let 3 divided by 2 raised to power y raised to power x equals to y. And as y equals to, suppose I want to get this to first, if y equals to 3 divided by 2, so we have 3 over 2 raised to power x equals to 3 over 2. And let's say I bracket this. And I raise it to the power of 1. So they are the same base and x equals to 1, which gives the first solution to this. And we can also get the second one by still applying the same process as 3 over 2 raised to power x equals to, so for this is 2 divided by 3. But this, uh, they have different base. What we do here is, if I try to introduce negative raised to the power of minus 1 to this, and it becomes 3 over 2 raised to the power minus 1. So we cancel this tool, and x equals to minus 1, so which gives the second solution to this. That is, minus 1 and the plus 1 satisfy this equation. So by combining these two together, we have minus 1 comma 1 and this is how to solve this again all thanks to prime newton for formulating this problem and i see another way of doing this different from what he did thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel bye bye